recipe. Oh! It's not. You want to come up and see if it is? It's not for you. Oh. Not for you. All right. Go play. Go in. Not back here. Go play. Go, 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 go. Out of here. My name is Kate and welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. You can probably hear the pitter-patter of these dingbat dogs around. Um, so if you hear them or see little white fluffs, yep, you can see one right here. That is what's going on. However, this is not a pup recipe today. It is September and being the basic white girl that I am, I thought that I would show you how to make my favorite version of pumpkin spice. So instead of getting a latte at Starbucks or something of this sort, I'm actually going to use real pumpkin seeds, sometimes they're known as papitas, to make essentially nut milk. So the M-Y-L-K type of milk, totally vegan, super tasty. You can put this in coffee and oatmeal. That's my favorite way to use it. Putting this in overnight oats is phenomenal. But yes, so we are going to make pumpkin spice pumpkin seed milk. So this pumpkin spice milk recipe is super simple, including water. It is only six ingredients, so it's really easy to do. It doesn't take a lot of work, but we're gonna go ahead and run through these ingredients. If you are like I am and like to read the ingredients as well, I did do a blog post on this. So if you go to the first link in the description, which is my blog, Habits of a Modern Hippie, you can see the ingredient list and step-by-step -step instructions down there as well. But we'll go ahead and see what we need. You need a cup of raw pumpkin seeds. These are organic. I got them in bulk at Sprouts. A pinch of cloves. You really only need a pinch. Cloves are super potent. About a teaspoon of cinnamon. About a teaspoon of vanilla extract. And then your sweetener of choice. I am using pure Vermont maple syrup. You can use agave. You can use sugar. Whatever you like. And that is to taste, so I poured maybe about an eighth of a cup in here. That's probably not going to use, I'll probably use about a tablespoon, depending on what I'm thinking of the milk. But yes, and I like using syrup just because it kind of gives that extra fall feeling. And then two cups of water. Now, along with the ingredients, you're going to need a couple of things. I use a nut milk bag. I love these. I got them in a set, I believe, of three off of Amazon. I'll link the ones I use down below. You can also use cheesecloth. And then right over here, we've got a nice blender, and you'll need that as well. So step number one is soaking the pumpkin seeds. I like to soak them overnight, but you can soak them for at least a couple hours just to get them nice and soft so they will blend up super well in your blender. So just pour them into a jar, whatever you have. Then we're gonna pour filtered water over the top of that. I like filtered water just because depending on where, the, where you're living, the water here is a little bit hard so you can kind of taste the chlorine and things like that, which is not my favorite. So I like to use filtered water. So this just came out of my Brita. And just pour the water over top. Put a little lid on it. And because I am not gonna make you guys wait eight hours overnight, though that would be lovely for views, we're gonna bring a, a little bit of YouTube magic in and we're gonna swap this out for the seeds that I so soaked overnight. I just poured them out into this, as you can see, they are still dripping into this sieve. And I'm just gonna take these and pop them directly into the blender. Now after that original soak, the rest of this takes a good maybe five minutes to make. So we're gonna take some filtered water. Dun, dun, dun. Once again, we want about two cups of water. Depending on how thick you want your milk, you can use a little bit less water, but I think two cups is a great amount. That will go straight into the blender. And then we'll pop our spice. So cinnamon. cloves, the vanilla, and however much 
you want of your syrup. Now I'm going to start out with just a little bit of a drizzle and then as everything blends I'll add some more in if I think it needs a little extra sweetness. I'm not too big on adding lots of extra sugar to things, so start out little and you can always build up, but you can never go back. All right, I'm going to pop on the lid and blend this baby up. So one of the things I should mention is I like to put these spices and the sweetener in before I blend everything all together because I like using the pulp, which is a really fun flavored pulp, to make crackers in the dehydrator. However, if you're just gonna compost the pulp, something like that, save your spices and you can blend up the seeds first and then add spice and sweetener later. So, I did it the first way, you can do it either way. See what makes the most sense for you. And if you're not making crackers or something with the pulp, go ahead and pop those spices in afterwards. So now that we have a nice blended pulp, we are gonna take that nut milk bag or your cheesecloth, and I'm gonna actually just pop it right down into a clean jar. Clean jar is necessary after soaking those seeds. You just wanna make sure you can clean out the jar so you get the tastiest milk. I'm going to pour all of this pulp into the jar. And you can do this a little bit at a time because you're going to want to squeeze out the liquid to make sure all of that milk gets down into the bag or out of the bag into the jar. You can get some air bubbles and things like this. And oh my goodness, does this smell fantastic. you've gotten as much liquid out of here as possible give it a little twist a little squeeze that is it so you can use this milk store it in the fridge for a couple of days you'll be able to smell when it goes bad if it all of a sudden it just doesn't smell as fresh but usually I can keep mine for about three to four days however with how delicious this is it does not last that long I promise now that everything is squeezed out and it's nice and messy all over the counter, you can also do this into a bowl and whatnot instead of the jar. I just didn't feel like doing extra dishes. You can put it into whatever feels best for you. Um, this is a French canning jar-ish. I got them at World Market, but it has a nice airproof top to keep it a little bit fresher. So I'm gonna pour all of this milk, and it's beautiful, down through that funnel and into my jar. And you have a beautiful way to serve everything. So signing off for my extremely messy kitchen at the current moment. Thank you guys for following along. Let me know if you end up making this recipe yourself. It is so good, cannot wait. There's just something about pumpkin seeds that is so smooth and with the spice in there, it just tastes like fall. But yeah, so if you like this video, give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. There are lots of videos with me and then these pups who are sleeping down there, not that you can see them. And I will see you again soon. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.